Mr. Snowden has indeed arrived in Moscow. It was completely unexpected. He arrived as a transit passenger and as such needed no visa or any other documents. He has a full right to transit. In this way, he is free to purchase a ticket and fly to any destination he wishes. In doing so, he does not cross our state border and therefore needs no visa. Therefore, any accusations aimed at Russia are nothing more than utter nonsense. He is a transit passenger and as such is located in the transit area. Our special services have never interacted with Mr. Snowden before and they do not do it today. As for the possibility of extradition, we can only hand over foreign state nationals to those states that we have a relevant, valid international agreement on the extradition of criminals. We do not have any such treaties signed with the United States. And thank God, Snowden has not committed any crimes on the territory of the Russian Federation. There is another person in a similar situation, that's Mr. Assange, who is demanded for extradition and called a criminal, just like Mr. Snowden. He considers himself a human rights activist and fights for the freedom of information. Ask yourself a question whether anyone has to extradite such people so that they are thrown into a jail. In any case, personally, I would like to not deal with such issues because it's like shearing a pig. There's a lot of squealing and little fleece. I hope that this will in no way affect the business-like character of our relationship with the United States. I hope that our partners will understand that. Mr Snowden is a free man and the sooner he picks his final destination, the better it will be for both him and us. Thank <laughs> you.